Hello, and welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone who's been watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I just hit another milestone. I have 100 subscribers, so that's very exciting. So I just want to, again, thank everyone who subscribed and who's taking the, the, um, taking the time out of their day to watch my videos. So today, I would like to do an unboxing. Um, this is from Dreamer Designs. It is... If you can see this, it's a Curtis Rykovich, and it's called Have I Gone Mad? So I've already cut the top of the box. Let me get, get her out of here. It's one of Curtis's damsels. I think that's what they call them, damsels. So the Dream of Designs bags. Um, I'm sorry, canvases come in this kind of a, it's a canvas bag. I, don't, I can't describe the material. It's not mesh. For some strange reason, my camera stopped recording, so I lost a little bit of foot, footage. So it's, I just want to um, try to redo that. So first, let's go over the tool kit. The tool kit comes in this really soft bag it almost feels like velvet it's so soft you get a bag of baggies you get two pins one with the metal placer and one with the plastic placer it comes with two purple squishies you get two um purple waxes and the wax um does have feel like it has a, yes it does have a plastic coating on it so please remove the plastic coat before you use it has a pair of Dreamer Designs um, branded tweezers that are very sharp, so be careful with that. You also get a straightener. I think this is a six placer, and I think this is a three placer. It also comes with dividers where you can use multiple drill colors at one time, and the, the, the dividers are very flush at the bottom, so the drills will not slide through. this out of the way. Here we have our canvas. Let's unfold it hard. Two packages of dreams. Sticker sheet. And some instructions. I'm going to try to roll it backwards. So if anyone else has trouble rolling back their canvases, um, let me know down in the comments. I cannot be the only person that struggles rolling the canvas backwards. I feel like I'm making the plastic have wrinkles in it. I feel like it's just, it's, I, I, I can never roll them straight. They're always crooked. I don't know it's me. So if you have that same issue, let me know down in the comments. So I think you can see pretty much the whole painting. It's called Have I Gone Mad, like I said, by Curtis Rykovich. The size is 60 by 80 centimeters. Um, she's a nice size. She's, she, she's, a, she's kind of, of a big one. Um, she has 69 colors, and she has one, two, three, four, five ABs. Um, Dreamer Designs canvases um, are coming scalloped and with, a, with some type of surging. Um, let's see if it's sticky. Pretty sticky. Um, it's so pretty. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I like Alice in Wonderland um, theme paintings. I have done two um, Alice in Wonderland theme paintings from um, Trader Studios Arts, and the artist was Lizzie Falcon. So I really am excited to get to work on this one. And then also like the paint has all the, the blue colored um, cups and then it's like green in the background, which is um, some of my favorite colors. A lot of um, dark blues look like in the background. So it's going to be really fun to do into, into diamond paint. All right, so let's look at her sticker sheet. Again, have I gone mad? 
And the stickers are pre-cut, so you just peel them off. I think that's nice. And again, it has 69 colors and five ABs. On the canvas, they have um, the legend. It's on the bottom left and the top right. So that's nice. I love having legend on both sides because I work um, on an easel and I work my canvas from the top down. So I like to be able to have a legend on both on both sides. Um, I worked on one canvas where the legend was on the bottom and I didn't like it at all. Alrighty, so let's look at her drills. I'm gonna try to be as quiet as I can. It comes with two packages of drills. And this one has got a lot of the dark blues and grays. Look, look, look how pretty those colors are. Pretty pinks. That's going to be all in her hair. This is going to be beautiful. I'm going to open them up and I'm going to go through the drills. so I can kind of decide if I want the paint or not and the crinkling kind of goes along with it. So we have one loose bag. We'll start with that one. It's 153. Then we have 823. We have two bags. 9.34, two bags, and then 9.35, so that's going to be some nice shading. We have 9.38, and that is two bags, and then 9.39, which is that real pretty dark blue, we have three bags. We have 739, 747, 777, 792, 797, 801, 814, 819, 820, and 823. So that's a, is that another bag of 823? Yeah. So we have three bags of 823. Okay. Then we have 414, 434. 435, 436, that's going to be some shading, 434, 435, and 436, 517, 518, 543, This one's got some real pretty teal blues in it. Thirty-seven ninety-nine, thirty-eight oh three, thirty-eight oh eight, thirty-eight oh nine, thirty-eight ten. Look at that shading. And that's one of some of my favorite colors. I know that's one of those beautiful tea coats. I'm sorry. 38-31. 38-32. 
38.35 and 38.36. Again, that's going to be some beautiful shape. And I'm sure that's going to be probably in her hair and her hat up here. We have thirty six eighty eight, thirty seven sixteen, thirty seven twenty one. one fifty four that pretty dark purple one fifty five uh oh here comes three ten we got four bags of three ten three forty three forty one and three sixty seven Then we have 3842, 3862, 3863, 3864. That's some nice shading. And here comes our ABs. So they do not use a DMC for the ABs. Um, they just have this is called AB03, which is a real pretty light pink. If you don't know what AB stands for, it stands for Aurora Borealis. It's just a regular drill, but it just has um, an iridescent coating on top of the drill, so it's kind of shiny and sparkling. Then we have AB08, which is a real pretty white AB. Let's see. AB46 is a blue, kind of sky blue. AB, uh oh, the AB666, we know that stands for the red AB, so that's really pretty. And then AB798, which is another blue, a little darker. Then we have 989, 3021, 3022, 3024. Look at all that, all that shading. It's, it's, it's beautiful. 3041, 3042. More shading. 3371, 3685, and 3687. So that's all the, the drills for this um, canvas. I just kind of want to look at where the ABs go. So our first, first AB is the AB03, which is the pink one, and that is the U. So let's see. Um, it's in her, actually it's in her face a little bit, right here in the bridge of her nose. Um, let's see what else it is. Down here in the collar of the rabbit. That's gonna be make that pretty. Um, it's a little bit right here in her hair. A little bit of you. And we don't see it anywhere else. I think that's where pretty much where you is. I don't see it in her eye or anything like that. Our next one is the white AB, which is um symbol O on the canvas. And that's going to be around the rabbit's eye right here. Um, let's see what else is O. Oh, definitely in her eyes. Going to highlight in her eyes. Oh, it's lots of O. Oh, um, kind of like going through the strands of her hair a little bit over here. Um, but there's not any on this side. All around the rabbit's ears right here too. So it's really going to be highlighting a little bit of her hair and the rabbit and, and her eyes. 
Our next AB looks like the anchor sign. It's one of the blue ones. Um, that's going to be in the teacups a little right here in the teacups. Let's kind of, let me kind of get out the glare. I'm sorry. Right here in the teacups. Let's see where else I have that anchor. Well, I thought it would be, let's look on this side. Oh, okay. The teacups right here, all right here and right here. Let's see. Well, I think it's the only place that it is. I don't see it in her clothes anywhere or in her hat. It's just highlighting in the teacups. Okay, so our next AB is the red one, which is symbol N. Um, I will assume, yep, it's going to be in the in the hat right here in the playing card. Um, so it's going to be highlighting the playing card. I don't think it's anywhere else. Nope, they're bright red. It's nowhere else. So it's just going to be highlighting that playing card. Then the next AB is a slash, and that is all in the teacups more in the teacups um same thing on this side all up in here on the teacups pretty much the same as the um anchor so it's just so they're gonna just make some of the teacups pop um and again i really don't see anywhere else i don't think it's in her hair i don't see it anywhere up here yeah, it's pretty much just going to be highlighting the teacups. So, I cannot wait to do this painting. I actually, I love Alice in Wonderland. And now that I'm looking at it, I see like it's got a little, she's holding a little cute little mouse. And she's got the rabbit. She has a teacup in her hand. All the teacups in the background. Her hat with the playing cards. Her little bow tie. I just think it is so cute. I just can't wait to see how if all the elements just pop out when the canvas is done. So now I'm going to do a quick pan over on the canvas so you can see all her details up close. I'm going to put in the description box a link to the painting. 
Um, I'm not sure if it's sold out or not, but even if it is, you can um, sign up for the email notifications. Um, I just want to thank everyone for watching. If you like this unboxing, um, please give me a um, thumbs up. Um, and if you like my content, please subscribe. Um, thank you all very much, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.